portion of this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey, so this is the brand new just announced Xiaomi 12T and the Xiaomi 12T Pro. I'm filming this days before the actual event in Munich, Germany, so this isn't a full review just yet, but more of a first look at two of Xiaomi's latest updates to their flagship smartphone. So it wasn't that long ago that Xiaomi released the 12 series phone, but here we are in October and we have the 12T and the 12T Pro. Now I'm gonna be focusing more on the 12T Pro in this video, so let me know in the comments down below whether you want a separate review for the standard 12T or if you want them all in one, sort of like uh, comparing both phones and what the biggest differences are between the two variants. Now, when you get two phones at the same time, it's kind of hard to focus on which one I should use first. Obviously, I went with the Pro version since it's the highest end model, so let's talk about its specs real quick, but I'll also mention the 12T here. So the 12T Pro is equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which is a slight upgrade from the 12 and 12 Pro from earlier this year. It features up to 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, while the regular 12T features a MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Ultra, which is kind of like a high-end mid-range processor, if that makes any sense. It's not flagship levels like the 8 Plus Gen 1 processor on this 12T Pro, but it's still a beast of a processor. Now, in terms of battery size, both phones actually pack a pretty massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery that can charge the phone up to 120 watts, which can fast charge the 12T and 12T Pro at 100% in under 20 minutes. Now, one thing both of these phones don't have though is wireless charging, which I actually am bummed about because we had that plus reverse wireless charging on the outgoing 12 and 12 Pro series from earlier this year. But then again, we do get that insane fast charging speeds wired, which I'm totally okay with. Now, the standard 12T features a 108 megapixel camera sensor, which I honestly haven't tested yet, but I will test it in the full review if you guys are interested in a review of that phone or some sort of comparison instead. But probably the biggest feature that I'm gonna talk about is the main camera on the 12T Pro, which is gonna sound absurd, but the 12T Pro features a 200 megapixel camera. Yep, two, zero, zero. And no, that's not a typo, a 200 megapixel camera on a smartphone is insane. And while I've only been using the phone for a few days, I managed to snag a few shots, which we'll talk more about later in the video. Now up front is a 6.6 inch 1220p display, which is somewhat of an odd resolution on a phone because it's higher than 1080p, but lower than 1440p. But yeah, the 12T and the 12T Pro have identical displays. It's AMOLED and both features 120 Hertz refresh rate, which is always great to see but probably the best thing about them though is that the display itself is flat, which if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I love me a flat display on a phone versus a curved one. So before we talk about the camera and my first impressions on that insane 200 megapixel camera, I just wanna quickly talk about its performance because it is very familiar. So over the last few days that I got to play around with the 12T Pro, the performance in my opinion is just as quick as some of the flagships that came out in the last few months including one of my favorite phones from Xiaomi, the 12S Ultra. Now, the 12T Pro, which is what I've been using over the 12T, features the latest from Qualcomm, which is the 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. It's really fast, but also very efficient in terms of power draw. So right off the bat, I noticed that things ran perfectly smooth no matter what I was doing on the phone, whether I was playing games or just browsing on social like Instagram or Twitter, or I'm watching videos. Not a single hiccup or lag was noticeable on this phone, which is always nice to see. But we'll see how this phone holds up the more that I use the phone in the coming weeks, uh, the more apps that I install on the phone, the more photos that I snap on this phone. So stay tuned for that full review. And as for the battery life, I've only had to charge the phone twice since I've unboxed it a few days ago, and I mean, with that 120 watt charging. I didn't really have battery anxiety when I use this phone. This phone would charge up so quick that I can just, you know, leave it charging for like five minutes and I'd already get like 35% of my battery back. So if you wanna know more about its battery life or its screen on time, I'll have to use the phone a couple more weeks to really figure out what it's capable of. But so far, the last few days that I've been using it, no complaints. 
All right, so for the cameras, for the first look and impressions, I just wanna focus on the 200 megapixel main camera because this is the most impressive or most interesting thing to talk about here. The other two cameras on the 12T Pro is an eight megapixel ultra wide, which is meh and a two megapixel macro, which honestly should just be taken out of this phone at this point. It's just a waste of money. But yeah, the 200 megapixel camera sensor is a Samsung ISOCELL HM6 sensor that is one over 1.67 inch big. So it's not exactly one inch sensor big like the 12S Ultra, but it is still somewhat of a bigger-ish sensor for a smartphone. So you will get more natural separation from your subject and background. From some of the initial shots that I took with this phone, I'm really impressed with that 200 megapixel sensor. And yes, there is a mode that you can enable to shoot 200 megapixels, but just be warned, each photo is gonna be like 100 plus megabytes per photo. So if you're planning on picking up the 12T Pro and wanna shoot exclusively with that 200 megapixel mode, then just be prepared for your storage to get eaten up because these photos are massive. But yeah, the colors and the contrast looks pretty good in this 200 megapixel mode. Although I did notice that when you're shooting in this mode, autofocus performance sort of takes a hit and there's a noticeable shutter lag too, but I didn't really notice that when shooting in that normal 12 megapixel mode. Now, this is still a smartphone, so don't expect mirrorless like photo quality just because it has an insane megapixel count. I would probably want to shoot more sample photos with this phone just to get an idea of how everything performs, including low light and normal bin down 12 megapixel photos and see how it looks compared to the non-pro model as well. But yeah, if you guys want to see the full resolution photos that you can download for yourselves, I'll have that linked in the description below. You guys can go to my website and check out some of the sample photos that I shot thanks to Squarespace who sponsored this video. Now, if you guys have been looking to build your first website, I highly, highly recommend checking out Squarespace because they make designing your dream website really easy. Now, what's cool about Squarespace is that you can build a website from scratch or use Squarespace's amazing selection of templates. They have a ton that you can choose from, whether you want your website mainly for photography or maybe you want to set up an online store or maybe a tech blog. Squarespace makes it super easy and you don't need to know how to code, which is probably the best part of using Squarespace. For my website alone, it took me about an hour tops to get it all up and running and I didn't write a single code, which is the best part. Now, the page where you can check out the 200 megapixel sample photos, I was able to set that up in 30 minutes. But what I really like the most is that once you have your website all built out, it'll automatically resize your website to be more mobile friendly so you don't have to do all the hard work optimizing for both desktops, mobile, and tablets. We're on our phones more and more, so having my website automatically optimized for mobile is a great feature and one that I really appreciate. Now, if you've been wanting to build your dream website, make sure to check out the first link down below and check out Squarespace. You can get a free trial and 10% off by using the first link in the description or go to squarespace.com slash markl. Again, special thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring a portion of this video. And yeah, that's pretty much it with the Xiaomi 12T and 12T Pro. Like I said earlier, by the time that this video goes up, I am gonna be in Munich for the actual launch event to check out some of the other stuff that Xiaomi's releasing alongside these phones. So stay tuned to the channel for the full review. Follow me on social if you wanna check out some you know, behind the scenes stuff. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one.